Hello, in this video, I'm going to be talking about tamoxifen. Will you benefit from tamoxifen? Is it part of your treatment plan? Before I go on, I wanna encourage you to subscribe to our channel. We're always putting out new content. I also wanna invite you to, to take a look at our endocrine therapy playlist. We have a lot more detail. This video is really just an introduction to tamoxifen. Well, what is tamoxifen? Tamoxifen is an oral medication that we've had for 50 years. The advantage of this is we're not going to be surprised by side effects or long-term adverse effects. We know this drug really well. It's also really inexpensive. So people all over the world can access this medication. This is a drug that blocks the estrogen receptor on tumor cells as well as other parts of the body. By doing so, it doesn't lower estrogen in your body, but it doesn't let your own body's estrogen get to breast cancer cells. And that's a good thing if your tumor has the estrogen receptor. This is such a powerful drug that it cuts the risk of cancer coming back by half. What I mean by that is if your cancer has a 50-50 chance coming, of coming back, it will cut the risk to about 25%. So your risk went from 50 to 25. It cuts the risk nearly in half. If your risk is really low, let's say 8% chance of it coming back, it will cut the risk in half to 4%. Still cutting it almost in half, but the benefit's not as great. A lot of people have asked us to be crystal clear on when we talk about benefit. Are we talking about the relative risk, cutting it in half, or the absolute risk, the actual percentage that it will cut it? So a really powerful drug, really inexpensive, available all over the world, does not lower estrogen in your body, which is really helpful for people who like their estrogen and really effective. It's not only effective in decreasing the risk of the cancer coming back, but it decreases the risk of dying of breast cancer by a third. It can also help prevent breast cancer. So this is really amazing. We have a drug that can cut the risk of developing breast cancer in people at high risk of breast cancer. So if you have a strong family history, if you have ductal carcinoma in situ, which is an early, early form of non-invasive breast cancer, if you have something called a typical ductal hyperplasia, not cancer, but increases the risk of cancer, if you have LCIS, or lobular carcinoma in situ, which sounds like cancer but isn't, this drug is highly effective in decreasing the risk of cancer in your future. The other thing that's really interesting, um, it will decrease the risk of you needing a breast cancer biopsy. So there are people who have what are sometimes called busy breasts by the mammographer, and every single time they go to the mammographer and get a mammogram, they end up getting a biopsy. In those people, tamoxifen will cut the likelihood that you have busy breasts. It makes it easier to read your mammogram and decreases the likelihood you'll need a biopsy. So that sounds like a lot of great stuff about this drug. It's really one of the most powerful anti-cancer drugs we've ever had in the world. It also strengthens the bone. So this is, it looks like estrogen to the bone. It decreases cholesterol because it looks like estrogen to the liver. And as you may know, cholesterol goes up when our estrogen goes down. So it looks like estrogen to the liver and lowers cholesterol. It also decreases the risk of heart attack. So it's interesting drug, right? It looks like estrogen to some tissues and it blocks estrogen to other tissues. So it's a fascinating drug and that's probably because the estrogen receptors differ on different tissues in the body. So you're watching this video, you've been diagnosed with breast cancer or the drug's been recommended to you for another reason, and you're wondering, am I likely to hear about this medication? 
So I've talked about the advantages of tamoxifen. Now I'd like to talk about the downsides to be thorough. If we don't cover your favorite side effect, check out our library and playlist on endocrine therapy where we cover a lot of side effects. So the most common side effects people with tamoxifen will experience are hot flashes. Sometimes people call these hot flushes or sometimes cold sweats, and these can be really disruptive of sleep. People can get joint aches and pains. People sometimes get vaginal dryness or discharge that they don't appreciate. People can also, much less common, get hair thinning, mood changes, and people have sometimes described weight gain. Even though in the randomized controlled trials, people on placebo gained as much weight, I wanna validate that this is a real side effect. So it's something to be aware of as you go on this medication. There are two less common but very serious side effects that are worth mentioning. The first is blood clots. Tamoxifen, because it looks like estrogen to the blood vessels, especially the veins in your body, can increase the risk of getting a blood clot, just like birth control pills can, just like hormone replacement therapy can. Any outside therapy that looks like estrogen to the body, outside meaning a pill or a patch, can increase the risk of blood clots. Again, rare, but really important to know about. And the other rare but serious side effect is cancer of the uterus, especially in people who aren't menstruating, people who are postmenopausal, and with as we get older, the risk increases. So endometrial cancer, not just bleeding or irregular periods or spotting, but postmenopausal bleeding and can rarely increase the risk of endometrial cancer. This is really important for us. You are likely to hear about this medication if you are premenopausal and your ovaries are still working. In that case, the alternatives are not as effective. And in fact, one alternative, the aromatase inhibitors, are not effective at all and are actually contraindicated, which means it's a no-no to prescribe them. Tamoxifen is recommended in people who don't need an aromatase inhibitor. Their cancer is not as high risk and they don't need to have their ovaries suppressed and be put on an aromatase inhibitor. Tamoxifen is a great option. It can be recommended to postmenopausal people not tolerating the aromatase inhibitors. It's a great option for people where aromatase inhibitors are not available in their country or your insurance doesn't cover it and they're really expensive. There are lots of people who write comments in who watch from around the world who don't have access to the aromatase inhibitors. Don't feel that tamoxifen is a second rate option. It can also be offered to people who develop a cancer while on an aromatase inhibitor or who've been on an aromatase inhibitor for advanced cancer. Tamox tamoxifen is actually a really great option and can work even with, when other treatments don't work for advanced breast cancer. Now, you might be watching this, you've been on tamoxifen and you hate the drug. Forgive me in advance. We are not covering in this video all the side effects and all the downsides of tamoxifen. We have a great library of other videos. If you're wondering if tamoxifen might be part of your treatment plan, I want to invite you to go to yerba.com to get your personalized Yerba report. Your Yerba report takes everything we know about your cancer after you either upload your records or after you give us access to them. And in live time, we'll update everything we know about this tumor, all the tests you've had, everything we know, what the tumor looks like under the microscope, all the treatments you've had or haven't yet had, and then tells, gives you a summary of all those tumor characteristics and tells you all the treatment options that you might hear about, including some perhaps you haven't even considered, the pros and cons of the treatments, the rationale for why they might be recommended in your case, and gives you a set of questions to ask the doctor. You know, it's not uncommon for doctors to say, what questions do you have? And the patient to say, I don't know what to ask. Your Yerba report will give you questions that might be helpful for you as you think about the next steps. So I wanna invite you to go to yerba.com and get your personalized Yerba report. As always, thank you for watching. Drop a comment or question below. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.